My name's Jeff Shaw, OAM. Joined the Army when I was 18. By the time I turned my 19th birthday, I was sent to Malaya, Borneo. I'd done a tour in Vietnam with the 2nd Battalion Royal Australian Regiment. 24 years old. And when they, when they did have a referendum in 1967, I was, I was in the jungle. I officially got the right to vote. And uh, even uh, have the right to go and drink in the pubs, which in fact, uh, years before, people weren't allowed to go into the pubs. Not much work was put into having, uh, having discussions with Aboriginal people in terms of what they'd like uh, to be included within the referendum. It is good, at least, that they, you know, they decide to recognise we're here and uh, we have to be given some rights. But that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, other rights were given to us. Two thirds of Australia have to vote to get uh, a referendum through. So it was just lucky at that time, 1967. You know, most of most of Australia was uh, quite sympathetic to the view of uh, you know having that referendum to uh, to uh, give us the right and, and accept that we're part of this nation too. Should have uh, had discussions about the constitution itself. You know, and we wouldn't have been going through this 50 years later talking about, uh, about uh, the changes in the Constitution, amendments or changes or inclusion in the Constitution. Get up and speaking about the rights and so on, and, you know, and what, what, what should happen in terms of the rights of Aboriginal people and so on. And we were successful in getting a Land Rights Act here. Other, 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 other successes is uh, in terms of uh, land rights and the native title and, and parcels of land uh, Handing back to Aboriginal people, uh, take for instance uh, Kakadu, where, where the, you know, and the, where they've got a joint management agreement, and another one that is, as is quite successful, is Uluru, where where where, the, where uh, it was handed back, handed back to the traditional owners. So you know, a lot, lot of lot there was a lot of successes that happened, but there there could be more successes if uh, the, Abri the Aboriginal people of Australia and, and the non-Indigenous people of Australia got together and say, right, let's move forward and let's embed something into the Constitution.